I do not like my grandma's meatloaf. <laughs> she gonna kill me for saying that. Welcome back to Tasting Our Roots. I'm Vanessa, and today we're in Los Angeles hanging out with Chef Ryan from Harold and Bell's Restaurant. I'm really interested to see how Chef Ryan brings meatloaf into his menu because he does have a more upscale style of restaurant. Today we're making a traditional southern style meatloaf. It's a beef meatloaf. The only truly special ingredient is going to be our Harold and Bell's Creole seasoning, which we make in house. All right, Chef, so let's get started on this meatloaf. We're going to start with our 80 20 ground beef. Now if you could just start breaking that meat up a little bit. Okay. The first thing we're gonna add to our ground beef is what we call in New Orleans cooking, we call it the Trinity. So we're just gonna dump that right in. Okay, am I mixing it right in yeah, there? Yeah, let's mix it all okay. in there nice and easy. So we're gonna put our Harold and Bell's grill seasoning in there, the secret recipe. Secret recipe. There. That's got a lot of color in there, so you know it's gonna have a kick. Is there any like secret ingredient that's not so secret that you can tell me? Yeah, salt and pepper. It really does pack a punch in terms of the, the hardiness and the amount of flavor. You can buy the seasoning at the restaurant, but you can use, you know, other seasonings, seasonals that you find in the grocery store. We're gonna add some granulated garlic, okay. French onion soup mix. We're gonna add some dried parsley. Okay. It creates some contrast in there so that it's not just one standard color. And since we're talking about tradition, this is a staple of tradition in America. This is Heinz ketchup. That's gonna add sweetness to the dish. There's a very home style aspect to our food. You know, a lot of these dishes that you see on the menu come directly off the dining room table at home. They are a landmark in Los Angeles because they were one of the first places to open up for people from Louisiana when they migrated to the West Coast. So next two items we have eggs, and we have cornflake crumbs, right? So this is gonna be the binding agent, the glue that's gonna hold our meatloaf together. Okay, I'm gonna dump the eggs in. Does that mix in pretty good? Yeah, I feel like good. All right, we're gonna Looks add pretty the even. corn flakes. Okay. Sometimes there's a lot of pressure because you're living up to a legacy. You do have a responsibility to uphold the promise that this brand, that this restaurant has made to them for all those years, you know? They're coming here with certain expectations that have been met time and time again before, and it's up to us to continue and meet and exceed those expectations. I'm just gonna take my hand, and you know, I eyeball it. I mean, you can measure if you really want to. Okay. Let it start pushing one to the side. And then we can come over to our grease pan, flop it down. Kept it as a dough form so we can serve it on the bread and it kind of matches with the shape of the bread. What's next? We're just going to put this in the oven? Yeah, we're going to take it and put it in a 350 degree oven. We're going to let it cook for about two hours. I wasn't always working in the kitchen. I was busting tables and serving tables at one point. It wasn't until I really came back and started getting my hands dirty and working in the kitchen all the time that I really learned. We're going to heat up the sauce that's going to go on top. Traditional Creole sauce, also known as red gravy. It's like marinara sauce, but it's a little thicker and heartier because of the roux we make it with. Okay. So we're heating up our Creole sauce. There's some minced garlic that you're seeing in there. There's some red pepper flakes that you're probably getting a look at also. Creole food uses more traditional French techniques. Okay. Cajun food is a little more raw spice to it. And they use a lot of uh, game animals. So you'll see more like deer and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Grab a couple pieces of the meatloaf and we're gonna go right on top. With the, you like a lot of gravy or a little gravy? Yes. The gravy is nice and hearty, yeah. pretty thick. We're just gonna finish it off with some parsley flakes. This is like true comfort food on a plate. Thick, hearty meat and potatoes, like covered in sauce and gravy. This is perfect. Can I please eat it now? Let's start with the meat. That is so good. Like at first I get the heat from the spices that you won't tell me about. Right. I did not know that I like meatloaf until I stopped eating my grandma's meatloaf. <laughs> she gonna kill me for saying that. Desha, come here. Ooh, right? We're gonna put this fork down. I can thank you so much. This is awesome. I'm gonna hug you. There is something about his food that really makes me want to feel the comforts of home all over again. I'm not gonna say that Chef Ryan's meatloaf was better than my grandma's. I'm not trying to get a phone call or a whooping. So I'm just gonna say that Chef Ryan's meatloaf had a flavor that I hadn't had before in meatloaf, but especially with the Creole spices and seasoning. I love how Chef Ryan's dishes are simple, but they're so unique the way he puts his own twist to it. And you really can feel that in every single bite. Tip, 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 tip,